So the very next day, as you, you've probably heard, there was a banner headline on the front page of the Irish Times, self, just as you said, self-confessed lesbian yeah. denounces heterosexuality as sadomasochism, see page seven. <laughs> And I remember sitting with my girlfriend at the time and turning the page and thinking, oh my God, you know, how will we go home to my mother? My mother, the widow, living alone, mm. surrounded by very respectable, you know, conservative mm. neighbours. So it was one of the worst times in my life that, was it? that I went out. We, you know, I was already living away from home, obviously, mm. but because my mother lived alone and we were tremendously close. She was wonderful. Yeah. We were already wonderful companions, you know intellectual companions. Mm. We always talked about books and ideas and politics. And she welcomed all my friends to the house mm. and was tremendously generous. But anyway, we went out to see her for Sunday lunch and she was standing at the sink. And I hadn't really seen her cry since the first few years after my father's death. And the tears were just flowing down her face. And she couldn't speak. I had never seen her. She was a very strong woman, very courageous and had been through a lot of trouble in her life. She couldn't speak, she couldn't look at me, she couldn't speak. And the tears just kept flowing. And she went on making the dinner and we sat down on Sunday lunch and the tears flowed all through the meal. And she didn't speak, we stayed then because we thought we can't leave her on our own. She literally couldn't speak, oh. it was astonishing. 